When I had my stroke, I was in the middle of living my lifelong dream. All my life, through all the different things I'd done, I loved to make art, and I wanted to illustrate a children's book. I got the publisher's approval for the drawings, I got the publisher's approval for the first painting, and I was on a roll. And along came those strokes, and picked me up out of my studio, and set me down in the hospital. Unable to move, unable to walk, completely wiping out my dream, or so I thought. My left side was almost entirely paralyzed, but my right side was affected too. To learn to walk, I first had to learn to stand up. To learn to stand up, I had to find my balance. My trunk muscles were injured. They were uncoordinated. Finding my balance was very difficult. The process of walking is very complex. The brain does it automatically when we're adults. When it's lost, all of a sudden, what we have to do is begin to think about what we're doing. How do we walk? The process of reprogramming the brain to do that is a process of paying exquisite attention. One day, in the rehab center, my physical therapist had me stand up and asked me to take a step by myself. I didn't really believe that I could do it. I didn't think it was possible. But you knew yep. that I could take a step. I took one step. That one step is again something I'll never forget. To be able to do that on my own was the beginning of walking. When I was in the hospital, I had no idea that people ever recovered from an injury like mine. I thought my useful life was over. I've never been that wrong. It is so valuable for us to begin to get this information to people immediately upon injury. Because if I tell myself a story that I'm never going to get better, then it doesn't make any difference what I do. What I've learned is it's not what happens to us that makes a difference. It's how we deal with it. Each one of us has the ability to engage in our rehabilitation to engage in our lives in a way that will make a huge difference to us and the people around us. You want to walk? Don't give up. As long as you have life and breath, you have the opportunity to make a life that's worthwhile. Because I didn't give up, because I was able to actually make a recovery, that book has been published. It is as if this book was meant to be, to tell this story because it's called Just for Today, and it's about concentrating on what life can give you now, which is part of the art of recovery and part of the art of learning to walk again.